Leon Valley composition, same move as last week, only different reaction. So side control, got my grip, um, thumb and side grip with my left hand on the collar, right hand grabs under the armpit. Knee on belly, tuck my knee towards the shoulder. Carl's reaction is to push on my knee and push on my foot to try and get the half guard. So the detail was, remember last week, I sit on his hip, which gives me longer to keep the position. Okay, Bring him towards me. Leg goes behind the head as I fall on my side. I locked the triangle last week. Carl went to his knees and I finished on your side this time. He's bringing this elbow just to the outside a little bit to create space. Okay, <coughs> and now from here, he's gonna once he uh, makes creates that space, he's got a shoulder away from his neck. He's gonna put his back on the mat. As he does, my left hand, right hand grabs my shin. My left hand posts. I come up. Okay, I'm gonna finish the triangle from the top position. Because he made that space, okay, rather than trying to drag this across, I'm facing Carl, put my hands on the mat, I'm gonna cut an angle. So I'm kind of turning and I use my thigh to shelf his arm back into place. Posting my hand, I lean forward and I lock my foot behind the back of my knee. And I need to have it flexed so it's L-shaped, okay? I don't want to be like coming in with it on the end of my toe because it hurts myself, so I need to make sure I make this L shape. Sorry, bro. And from here to finish, I put my head on the mat. I pull up on the head. Sometimes you don't get that if the bite's not tight and I haven't got the snugness on the neck. If I can't get it, I just sit up, grab the arm, and I'll take that for an arm bar. Hold on. To there. Okay? So, one more time. So that's your mounted triangle from knee on belly. I get my grip, thumb and side grip, right hand grabs the gi under the armpit, transitioning to the knee on belly, my foot is tight to his hip, I turn it towards his shoulder, I make, I make it uncomfortable, I want to be comfortable, he's uncomfortable, so I'm bringing him towards me, his reaction is to push on my knee, push this in, so I drop my hip just to give me space. His hand swims underneath, he bring his head towards me. As I sit through, I lock my triangle, only this time he's staying on his side. Instead of coming to his knees, this arm's only coming out partially. We'll look if he wraps the leg in a minute. So his arm comes out, and this time he's trying to put his back on the mat. So this hand that has the collar posts, and as he puts his back on the mat, my right hand grabs my shin. I let him put his back on the mat. So I come up. So the problem is now, because he's brought this elbow out, I don't want to start getting into the habit. This is where I lose by pulling this across. So I use my the profile of my thigh to, to bring the arm across. Um, I'm straight with Carl. I'm cutting an angle. So I turn and I use this to shelf it. And I lean forward, wrap my triangle. I'm flexed, so my my foot is L-shaped. Two finishes. Put my head on the mat. And pull up. Or if I can't get that, I just grab the wrist, rotating it. Making sure his elbows are his elbows um, to my body, and then I have the arm bar. So that's your mounted triangle from the.